really struggling to get your piano playing in time with your click track and in turn recording your piano parts in time in your project, well, don't stress. In this video, we're going to take a look at some very simple quantizing techniques for the piano. Let's start with a really basic chord on each bar. So that is out of time with my click track and my project. And if I double click on it, I can see that this is ahead of this grid line here, which means it's early. This is late. It's behind the grid line. And then the next one's late and the last one is very early. Now, if you don't do something about this and you keep recording MIDI parts, your project is going to be all over the place and all out of time. So to correct that, we go up to our quantize drop down menu and we select an appropriate setting and hit that Q button or Q on our computer keypad for a shortcut. Now I've selected one over 32, which is quantizing it to 32 subdivisions or beats per bar, which was not the right setting because it still didn't bring it on the grid lines. This is looking better, except I'm still missing that third beat. So now if I go to one, one, I'm saying to Cubase, I only want one note played in one bar. That's the one over one. So it's quantized it perfectly onto the first beat of each bar. So that's the right quantize setting. That's quantizing at its most basic. Let's look at a part with a little bit more movement. So this has got more parts in it than the first progression that we looked at. But if we quantize it to a setting that's too low, like one, one, again, you can see that it squashed all of those notes onto the first beat of the bar. So that's not the right quantized setting for this part. So we need to go and make it a little bit higher. Now one, four means it's going to quantize it to four subdivisions per bar, which you can see highlighted on the grid lines down the bottom. And now that's perfectly quantized it into the correct place. Once again, if I go to high, you can see that parts are early like this part and then other parts are going to be late so the trick is to find the correct quantize setting don't go too low don't go too high in this part there's more movement meaning there's more notes we're not speeding anything up it's the same tempo so if we use the same quantize setting one over four you can see it's locked it onto those four main grid lines there which is too low let's move it up to one eight and hit q and it's given us eight subdivisions. So it's going to lock it onto those eight subdivisions here. And it's done that perfectly. So that's an example again of going too low and then finding the correct quantize setting. And again, here we have even more notes. So of course, if we quantize it to one eight, it's locked it onto eight subdivisions. I think you're starting to get the point now. Move it up to one over 16 and you've got the perfect quantized setting there for your part. Every now and then you're going to get a part which doesn't fit in to your simple 1-1, one, 1-4, one, one, one eighth, one sixteenth. This is a really good example of that. Let's have a look at what happens if we give it a straight one sixteenth feel. one eight. It's not working. So now I'm going to go down and try something different. A 1 8 triplet. And that's quantized it perfectly. So it's a matter of finding the quantized setting that's going to work for you. And it might take a little bit of trial and error. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check this video out. Please subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channels for plenty more videos just like this. Give us the thumbs up if you've learned something. Catch you soon. Bye.